there's so many kids that we end up getting in here and teenagers and stuff for trauma or violence. Numbers they say the pandemic has exacerbated. A lot of abuse is going on, but now it's it's not been as reported reported like before. The Child Advocacy Center can not only listen, but can take action. I think it's very important that people know that our center is a one-stop shop where everything can be done at one time so that the child doesn't go through trauma over and over again. Cross is a mental health therapist on the front lines. She says it comes down to access to needed help. Because a lot of times that's a part of the problem is that there's not, there are some resources, but they don't know how to find them. So we need to help them find those resources. They also want to raise awareness. February is National Teen Violence Awareness Month. Approximately 1.5 million boys and girls admit to being hit or physically abused by someone they're romantically involved with. Cross says a key to stopping any and all child abuse is educating the general public. So I think we need to educate more people on this is your responsibility to help these children, and this is how you do it. And every handprint represents a child saved by the work they do. In Clinton, Tennessee, Malik Jackson.